Okay, so I've set up my Power Query to pull information in from other files, and I have this information about my Zoom workshops and who attended, but this doesn't include the session name. I have that in a separate sheet that I populate with session date and name. What if I want to bring these two together? So all the session names are in our main data set based on session date. We can do this with Power Query too. Let me show you how. So first off, I am going to close this session information sheet by clicking the X, and then I'm going to reopen my query. So I'm selecting data in my table. I'm going to go to the Query tab near the top and choose Edit. This is going to open up the Power Query Editor again, where I'll see everything we set up in the session last week. When I want to bring in another column from a different data set and kind of match things up. So in order to merge these two files together, I first need to add our session information query to my list of queries on the left. So I'm going to right click in the query section. I'm going to choose new query file and this data is in an Excel worksheet. So I'm going to choose Excel workbook for my source. And it's in my Zoom files to process folder. You have it too if you download the demo files. I'm going to click session info, Excel, import. Now it's telling me, okay, there's a table in this spreadsheet and there's also a tab. So in this case, I'm going to bring in the table. So it only brings in the content I want. And if I add more things to the table and update the query, it'll be in here as well. So table one, and I'm going to click OK. Now on the list on the left, I will see I have these two queries here, my Zoom files to process and my session information. So when I want to bring them together more horizontally, in other words, I want to add a column from my session name to my query here where I have all the participants, I'm going to use merge queries. So I'm going to select my list of all my participants here, my Zoom files to process query. I'm going to go to the Home tab, and toward the right, I'm going to click on Merge Queries. There's a drop down that has the option to merge as new, which will create a new query on the left. I don't want to do that. I want to keep it in my initial one here, so I'm going to select Merge Queries. This is going to open up a tool for me to select what two things I want to merge. Because I started out in Zoom Files to Process, this query is already selected. And what I want to do is I want to select the other query on the bottom here, which is going to be Table 1, the Session Information Query I just added. And then in both of these, I want to select what column I'm going to match on. So in Zoom Files to Process, if you remember, we added a column that has just the session date. So not the whole join time, but all the way to the right, we added one that is just the date. So that's the merge we're going to do from Zoom files to process. And then table one, we have a date as well. And this is the columns that we want to merge on. So once I've done that near the bottom left, it's going to show me whether or not I get any matches. So if you have selected these correctly, you want to see matches here. So in this case I have, I'm going to keep it. Just quickly, the way this join is working, it's going to keep all the data from the first one here, which would be kind of like the left side. And then on the right, it's only going to bring in information here when there is a match on the initial sheet, which is exactly what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And on my Zoom files to process query, I have this new column here called table. This is very similar to when we initially combined our information and we had kind of the double download button. This one is going to let me pick what I want from that table to bring in. So I'm going to find that new table column and I'm going to click on the kind of outward pointing arrow button. And this opens up information about everything available in this table and I can select what I want to populate. So in this case, the only thing I want to bring in is that session name. So I'm going to unselect everything else, just select session name. And it also has this option to use the original column name as a prefix. I don't want to do that. All I want to show is session name here. So I'm going to uncheck that option. And then I'm going to click OK. And I will see every single session name is going to populate down the list here. So I'm going to go ahead and close and load this. And you'll see that first off, it adds information to my spreadsheet here with that session information and my Zoom files to process has that new column. So when I go back to my folder and I add in all of these other files to my Zoom files to process, I've already added these session names to that session info sheet. So when I come in and I refresh my query, 
I will see all the way down the line here, it's got the session name to match every single title here. Really powerful way to extend this Power Query tool by combining separate sheets or separate tables based on a common value.